How's it going everybody? It's me, the RuneScape Historian, back with a new video. I hope all of you are having an amazing Labor Day, and let's get right into the video. Before we dive right into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. I will show you up on screen. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I also appreciate you guys that are simply watching the video. Alright, let's get into it. So the idea from this video actually came from someone who was talking to me via the Discord DMs. I'm not going to share your name here. You know who you are. I appreciate the idea, and uh, yeah, we were just kind of discussing who got the first fire cape. You sent me an amazing link from Tippet back from 2005, and I've been reading through it and decided to make a video on it because I feel it needs to be documented because a lot of people don't know it. And I'm not going to lie, I feel like it makes for a cute thumbnail and a clickable video, so yeah. Nowadays, level 3s have killed Jad. Even before that, level 40s have killed Jad. Before that, level 60s have killed Jad. However, don't be fooled by these milestones. Even today, getting the fire cape is a very intense source of frustration for some. Killing Jad the first time on any account is a very impressive milestone, but let me take you guys back to 2005 when it was at its most impressive if you took down Jad. So as many of you guys know, on October 4th of 2005, RuneScape saw its biggest challenge yet with the release of the Fight Caves. The end of the Fight Caves has the boss fight Tiz Talk Jad, and many people didn't know how to fight it at the time. So the fact that someone got this cape on October 5th, just the day after its release, was absolutely insane. And also, just to dispel any disbelief, the old cape is gonna be shown in some of the footage. I'll put it up on screen now. This is the cape that was from September 19th of 2005 all the way from January 16th of 2007, after which it was changed to this cape right here, which came out January 22nd, 2007 to now. And it's the one seen, I think, even on RS3 and Old School as well. So based on what the viewer told me and through following the link, I found out the first person to obtain the fire cape, the first documented person anyways, was a guy by the name of Krasaki. The picture shows him in 2005, a day after fire cape's release, and Port Phasmatty's rocking the fire cape. And as you notice, it has the very old fire cape model, which looks pretty cool, as well as the old equipment screen below the equips. I also went to the original Tippet post from 2005, and of course, as you guys figured, Figured, uh, the image links are dead. However, you can right click inspect element and it will show you the image shack link and you can attempt to way back those links. I was successful in way backing one of the links. It was a gif showing this dude decked out in legendary gear, dragon chain, white party hat, whip, and of course the legendary fire cape. This dude was uh, no joke. He had the end game gear, even had a party hat. So Pretty cool little gif, I'll show it up on screen. According to many individuals on the post, Krasaki was the only one to get the fire cape using the glitched safe spot. I say glitched because it wasn't meant to be in the game. It was later removed a day later by Jagex and he was said to be the only person to have gotten the cape this way. So kind of a busted way to get the cape, but hey, it's history and he was the first one to get the cape regardless. So now that we know who had the first fire cape, I also want to share with you guys a few other interesting little tidbits I found during my short research. Like I said, this video is not going to be long. I don't want to take up too much of your time, take you away from your family on Labor Day. So I went to a site called RuneScape Bits and Bytes. I believe it's still up, but this is one of the older sites. And yeah, it's from, let's see where this is from. Yeah, post subject October 3rd, 2005, posted on October 4th, 2005, so after the update. It basically explains the update, it says the influx of humans into the city, the Tazar have opened up the city, but that's not what's really important. You can see here how people rated the update right here. So a few people were not too happy about it, but overall it was positively accepted, so that's pretty cool. Cave is very good with great monsters. So I'm going to tell you guys now from what I remember while researching this, a lot of these people are complaining and it's actually quite funny to read. Let's scroll down just a little bit. Yeah, the rewards are atrocious. I managed to last all the way to the priest guys. I'm guessing the priest guys are the guys with the hood, the lizards and the uh, hoods that heal themselves, so the 180s. But uh, he got tellied by a ring of life. That's not really the minigame's fault. Uh, but as far as the rewards are atrocious, people didn't know what the reward was yet because Jagex didn't outright state it. Yeah, apparently a Amulet of Fury cost 25 million coins on the forums at the time of its release according to this player. You know, this is all hearsay, but it is very interesting and I could really see people doing this because you see people pay absurd prices for things that come out 
nowadays on day of release they pay the most absurd prices even though they know due to history it's going to fall. So apparently someone bought the Amulet of Fury for 70 mil in Falador. Reward for killing the level 702. 8k Tokel, Fire Cape, stats for Fire Cape, plus 4 strength, plus 11 defense, plus 2 prey suckage. I won't be going there again. <laughs> Jesus, man. I'm really disappointed in the updates Jagex has been coming out with lately. They need to come out with some more meaningful quests. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a really bad reward for killing a level 702. This is crazy just to see the difference in time, and I know this is a small sample size, and some people really liked the fact that it was a cape. Um, also, these people probably hadn't, hadn't seen the cape yet and how good it looks, so maybe they wouldn't complain as much if they saw actually how amazing it looked for the time. It even still looks amazing. I love the fire cape. And you can kind of see the perception as well, how impossible it seemed at the time. Yeah, bad reward considering only like 1% of all people will be able to kill it. But uh, yeah, guys, I think this is a really cool look back at history, the perception of the update, the first person to get the fire cape. It's just awesome looking at old posts like this. But uh, big props to Krasaki, and uh, yeah, that's going to be about it for me, guys. This is the RuneScape Historian, checking out. Later.